and cross the nation. Stay on your favorite station. It's a viewer's delight. Nick, 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 Nick at night. Nick at Night's regularly scheduled programming will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you more Alfred Hitchcock Presents on Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway with host Wink Martindale. Boy, a lot of people sure have died tonight on Al Hitchcock Presents, haven't they? Some horribly, but they haven't died in vain because they can turn you into a winner. How? Just guess the total number of people who, who, well, croak in our 140-episode marathon. You can try to watch every show or just take a shot in the dark. Once you've made your guess, call us at 1-800-235-DEAD. There's the number on your screen. Leave your name, address, phone number, and your guess. All correct guesses enter a random drawing to get 13 grand prize winners. Tell them about it, Johnny. Each winner and a guest will be flown to L.A. and join TV Land stars for a fabulous murder mystery dinner cruise. The phones will be open until the event ends on Monday, November 4th at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come on, take a stab at it. There's no hitch, only Hitchcock. All week long on Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. and gentlemen someone had the brilliant idea that I should don this costume in order to dramatize the title of tonight's play it is called the horse player uh, just a moment you forgot something I'm sure you want to know who authored this clever charade his previous works include the following one minute audio collage this portion of Naked Night's Dead Giveaway is brought to you by Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. Designing your home. Decorating tips from Liquid Plumber Drain Opener and Better Homes and Gardens. A bathroom can be a haven for relaxation. You'll see next. Professional Plumbers on Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. you got to have something that will go right to the problem real fast. It'll work on the clock and get it open. I used it myself Saturday night. <laughs> the best liquid drain opener is in the gray bottle. Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. Pamper yourself with some quiet time in the tub. It can provide you with a moment of self-indulgence. Consider the benefits of a whirlpool bath or a shower massage to ease aching muscles at the end of the day. Treat yourself to a magazine and a pillow. Out of the blue, a show on the night. A cut above, oh so nice. Long John Silvers, making a splash. Fresh and hot, a wave of gold. Tender shrimp, so big and bold. Long John Silvers, making a splash. Long John Silvers, making a splash. Try our six new lunch specials starting at just $1.99. favorites have great low prices like delicious soft taco supreme and our new great tasting nacho supreme so run for the border and now a word from another sponsor but in just 30 seconds watch tonight's hitchcock tale uninterrupted only on nick at night Enjoying the Nick at Night broadcast reimagined? Want to see more? Well, consider visiting our Patreon. That's right, our Patreon. A community of classic TV connoisseurs like yourself. Visit patreon.com slash Nick at Night to learn more. Now you can get Lee Takes Command from Time Life Book's monumental series, The Civil War, for just $4.99. I'll be back to tell you how.
In the Civil War from Time Life Books, you'll read why our country went to war against itself. You'll understand the cause and see the effects on the field and on the home front. Beginning with Lee Takes Command, yours free to examine for 10 days to keep for only $4.99. And with your purchase, receive the Civil War Almanac free. Get both sides of this great and tragic story in Time Life Books, Civil War. Call now for your free examination of Lee Takes Command. If you decide to keep it, page is $4.99. That's $10 off the regular price. Other books will follow about every other month on the same free examination. Buy only the ones you want, cancel any time. So dial this toll-free number now. We're waiting for your call. Nick at night, a TV viewer's dream. No bus, no bus, no heavy perfume. Just good television. Put Nick at night in your living room. Every Halloween you get tricked by those ghoulish network shows. <laughs> But this year, Ha presents a TV comedy treat. Don't you like to make a lonely ghost very happy? On October 31st, you're invited to Ha's 24-hour mork fun It's the best of the best of Mork and Mindy. We'll frolic in the tidal pools and let the hermit crabs have their way with us. Don't miss 24 hours of Mork and Mindy, only on Ha Halloween. Will you be a dead giveaway contest winner? If the suspense is killing you, tune in for the correct body count next week during Hitchcock at 11.10 Central here on Nick at Night. For the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of Holy Mother Church. Say Michael the Archangel defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, cast into hell, Satan, all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of soul. Amen. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. I have been asked to announce that the meeting of the Mother's Committee has been postponed until next Thursday. Mr. Father Amy, I uh, brought those figures we were talking about. I'm afraid it's not very good news. You see, Father, it's not just a matter of a few broken shingles. I could plug up one leak, all right, but another would just break out someplace else. Yes, I understand, Mr. Chief. You're going to have to have a whole new set of drains, downspouts. I just can't see it being managed for anything less than $1,500. Well, I'm sure you've done your best. Unfortunately, Mr. Cheever, it seems that the church treasury has as many leaks as the church roof. We've had so many repairs this year. But I've placed the facts before the bishop, and uh, maybe he can work a minor miracle. Meanwhile, well, we can only hope for fair weather. I'm very sorry, Father. Thank you. Bye. Oh, Father, will you take a look at this? What is it? It's a ten dollar bill, Father. Well, so it is. I don't think I've seen a ten dollar bill in a midweek collection since before the war. Did you see who the kind owner was? Oh, I couldn't help noticing him, sir. Even before he, he gave me his donation. He was in the first pew on the left. I don't think he's ever been at service before. What was so unusual about him? Well, he's sort of a rough-looking fellow, sir. Uh, sort of sporty clothes. Oh, you mean the gentleman in the sport shirt? Oh, yes, I did see him. 
I don't think it's very charitable of you, Morton, to criticize his attire. Oh, I, I wasn't criticizing him, sir, especially after I saw his donation. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I didn't quite mean it like that, sir. Well, I understand how you feel. It does seem a shame that we should be so preoccupied with our expenses, but I'm sure things will improve. Yes, Father. The Lord will provide. Amen. Dominus for wisdom. Yeah, I'm Frate, frate. May I speak to you for a moment? Huh? Oh, sure, Father. I've been wanting to talk to you for the past week. Oh, really? Uh, uh, by the way, I enjoyed your sermon very much, Father. Oh, I hope you realize that some of it was meant for you. I couldn't help noticing how generous you've been to our poor church. Are you new in the parish? Oh, no. I've been around this neighborhood over 20 years now, only, uh, you know, I ain't never been much for churches. In fact, the first time I came in here was about uh, two weeks ago, on a Tuesday. Well, I'm certainly glad that you've changed your mind. It seems to me I've seen you here several times during the past two weeks. Well, yeah. It's, it's okay, ain't it, Father? I, I mean, you don't mind, huh? Mind? Why should I mind? Well, I don't know. Uh, by the way, my name is Sheridan, and I, I sure appreciate it, Father. It's meant an awful lot to me to come here to the church. Well, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad, too. You see, when I saw that little sign of yours, you know the little sign you got outside that says, uh, Try Prayer? Mm -hmm. I said to myself, uh, what do you got to lose? You ain't had no luck at nothing else, so why not give this prayer thing a chance? So I came in and tried it. And did it help? Oh, boy, I'll say it helped. Well, that makes me very happy to hear you say so, Mr. Yeah. Sheridan. You won't believe this, Father, but that day I had six winners out of eight. Six out of eight, and one of them was a 20 to 1 shot. I never had a day like that since I've been going to the track. In fact, I was down to my last two bucks. Uh, just a moment. Uh, I don't understand what you mean. The track, Father. You know, the horses. Look, I don't want you to get sore. I suppose a guy like you, you probably don't go in for gambling and stuff like that, huh? You mean my sermon sent you to the racetrack? Oh, no. I, I was going to go anyhow. I go to the track all the time. That's how I make me living. You see, I used to be in a hardware business, but I get kind of tired of it. So, as I say, when I saw that sign of yours, I said, why, why don't we give it a whirl, Charlie? What have we got to lose? So, I started praying. Boy, how I prayed. Give me a winner, please. Please, God, give me a winner. So what happened? I got six of them. And I've been picking them real good ever since. Mr. Sheridan, uh, I don't think you understood my message at all. I said that prayer could work miracles, but not for such selfish aims. Well, it sure was a miracle, all right, Father, and believe me, I owe it all to you. Uh, there's been a misunderstanding. You made a mistake, Mr. Sheridan. Uh, prayer isn't intended for horse races. You can't pray for your purse and neglect your soul. Oh. I thought you'd be sore. Oh, no, I, I'm not angry. Just look at it this way. Now, uh, suppose everyone at the track prayed for his horse to win. Now, you know that isn't possible, don't you? So don't you realize what a dilemma would be presented to the Lord? Is that fair? Well, yeah, I never thought of it that way. I, I guess you're right. Then you do see the error of it. Well, uh, yeah, it, it would be tough. That is, if everybody prayed for a winner. Only they don't, see? Everybody ain't wise to this prayer racket, Father. And that's their hard luck, ain't it? Come in. Father, Amen. Yes, Morton? Uh, that man, he, he's back again. I suppose you mean Mr. Sheridan. Yes, Father. 
as I passed this pew a few minutes ago, he kept saying something about Satan. Satan? Oh, I don't think you heard correctly, Morton. Oh, yes, I did, Father. He kept saying Satan or, or devil or something like that. That's it, Red Devil. He, he kept saying it over and over. I wouldn't worry about it, Morton. Red Devil is undoubtedly the name of a horse. Excuse me, could I see Father Amien for a minute? Come in, Mr. Sheridan. I uh, hate to butt in on you like this, Father. I, I know you're a busy man. That's quite all right, Mr. Sheridan. I just came in to make a little donation. Uh, by the way, you know that roof of yours is leaking? I just got a shot of water right in the head. I'm aware of it. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I came in to donate this 30 bucks. You see, I was out the track yesterday, and I had a pretty good-sized bet on a horse named Branding Iron. You know, one of the horses that I was praying for. So, as they lined up at the starting gate, I said to myself, if Branding Iron wins this race, I'm giving 30 bucks to the church. So, there you are, Father. He wins by seven lengths. Uh, there's no need for you to tell me where your donation comes from, Mr. Sheridan. I thank you for it, but I'd rather not discuss the source. Oh, you're still mad at me, huh? I was never mad at you. I'm praying for you, Mr. Shutterton. Oh, you yeah? are? Boy, now I know I can't miss. Oh, don't misunderstand me. I'm praying for your soul, not your horses. Oh. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm ungrateful. Frankly, as you know, our church is a poor one, and we can use any donations. You've been a great help, and I appreciate it. You're welcome, Father, and you deserve it. And if I ever get anything special, you know, a horse that's real hot and you'd like to put down a little money. Really, Mr. Sheridan? Wait a minute. I think I got just a horse for you. Red Devil in the fourth race at Belmont. Do you mind if I use your phone a second? Mr. Sheridan, remember where you are. I'm sorry, Father. I, I only thought that... Uh... I have no wish to interfere with your way of life. And I certainly don't want to be involved in it. Our church will survive without racehorses. Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway with host Wink Martindale. Here's how to play the game. Watch as much Hitchcock as you can and keep track of those dead bodies. Then estimate how many you think will die in our entire 140-episode marathon. Stay tuned for the 800 hotline numbers so that you can call in your guests. All correct guesses enter a random drawing, and the lucky 13 chosen will win a murder mystery dinner cruise. Watch Hitchcock. Count the dead. You could win. That's Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. This portion of Naked Night's Dead Giveaway is brought to you by Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. People call up and they say, my drain is clogged. Professional Plumbers on Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. You get a big ball uh, here. If you saw it on the sidewalk, you'd walk away from it. <laughs> its patented thick formula won't dilute in water. It's not real good for us that it works, but it does work. It clings to tough hair clogs and powers them away. Because something like a clogged drain really isn't that big of a job, but i got to charge him for coming out there. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to come on out. The best liquid drain opener is in the gray bottle. Professional strength liquid plumber. These cakes are good. There's nothing in them, you know. Nothing? Like colors, I mean. It's yellow. Well, uh, there's no flavors. What do you mean I like the flavor? Kix has a corn crunch that kids like. And Kix is low in sugar with no added colors or flavors. That's what mom's like. If there's nothing in it, how come I'm so full? You did eat two bowls. Oh. Kicks. Kid tested, mother approved. Great news from Pizza Hut. My little girl made dinner for Dad. What is it? Now, Pizza Hut delivers. Snookums, it's not my turn to cook tonight. Well, it's not mine. It is too. It is Don't not. worry. Now, Pizza Hut delivers. So any reason's a great reason to call Pizza Hut. It said cook at 300 degrees for 30 minutes, so I figured 600 degrees for 15. Pizza Hut, make it great. Now at Pizza Hut, you can get pepperoni pizzas for just $5.99 each. Every Friday in November, MTV Street Party takes over. 24 hours of house shaking sound from noon Friday to noon Saturday. Forget the shows you usually watch. This is the right time. 
Bosnia peoples and your MTV favorites take the party coast to coast. This Friday, rock around the clock with MTV's 24-hour street party. TGIF. No. TGIF. From the moment she met him, she was crazy about him. I love you, Nick, and you love me! Now look, you're too young for me. There's nothing between us. But if she can't have him, no one can. The Crush, rated R. People say to me, Adam West, give me one good reason to watch Nick at night. I say, here are three. One, big TV pleasure. Two, every show has credits, a handy list of the people who made these TV land classics. And three, they're time-tested tough. Face it, modern TV is flimsy. But Nick at Night brand reruns, these babies were built to last. Three good reasons you know it's right. Be polite, watch Nick at Night. Brand reruns. Mr. Ed will not be seen tonight because, well... Just keep the services dignified and simple. Now stay tuned for Alfred Hitchcock Presents on Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. You take care of that cold, Mrs. Spencer, and tell your husband I'll stop by to see him next week. Father, can I give you a lift? Uh, no, thank you. I'm only going a few blocks, and I rather oh. enjoy the walk. How do you like it? Brand new, and I don't even know a nickel on it. It's a very handsome vehicle. Yeah, thanks. Funny how these things work out, hey? You know, it was less than a month ago, I only had two bucks to me name. Remarkable. You know something, Father? You know how many winners I had last week alone? No. Fourteen out of eighteen. Seems every time I pray real hard for a horse, it turns out to be practically a sure thing. Say, Father, I couldn't help but notice that roof of yours still needs fixing. You ain't had no luck raising the dough, huh? Uh, not for the moment, no. Well, look, I know how you feel about the races and all that, but if you got a few bucks to spare, there's a horse going this afternoon named Sally's pal. At Mr. Sheridan, I thought we'd close that subject. Well, just listen to me a minute, Father. Let me tell you about this horse. You see, they've been training him in secret, and I got it straight from the owners that the horse is absolutely ready. In fact, he busted the track record by over two-fifths of a second. Not only once, but a couple of times. This afternoon, he's starting in his first big race, and all he's got against him is a bunch of broken-down fillies. Well, I don't have to tell you, Father. You know how colts run away from fillies. I know nothing of the kind. Well, take my word for it, Father. They run like burglars. And according to the morning line, the horse had to pay about 15 to 1, probably even more than that. So it looks like a pretty good spot for you to pick up a fast buck. And if I really start praying... I'm afraid I have to go, Mr. Sheridan. I, I have a church council meeting this morning. Oh, well, it's up to you, Father. All I know is I'm putting my last buck on this horse, right on the nose. So if everything goes all right, I probably won't be seeing you around no more. Why is that? Well, I guess I forgot to tell you, I'm buying me a place down in Florida. Got a wonderful location right between the Catholic Church and Hialeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Mr. Sheridan. I really do. Thank you, Father. Uh, Mr. Sheridan, you're really short of this horse, aren't you? Oh, sure. I'm absolutely positive, Father. You know, like I told you, I've been praying real hard all week. Plus which, I know the horse has got the stuff. If, um, if someone bet $500 on this horse, um, what might he expect to win? Well, let me see. Uh, leave us say the worst comes to the worst and the horse only pays 10 bucks. The least a guy could pick up would be about $2,500. $2,500? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Sheridan, if I were to give you $500, uh, could you, um, arrange this transaction for me. You mean it, Father? Would you? Well, sure, I'd be glad to. You know, you do one to me, I do one to you.
morning, Father. Good morning. Closing out your savings account? Yes. Anything wrong, Father? Nothing wrong. Our service has been satisfactory, hasn't it? Very satisfactory. How would you like the money, Father? Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, put it in large bills, please. Fifty? That will do. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Okay, Father. Good luck to us. I don't know what came over me, Your Excellency. I've never done such a thing before. Now, now, Father. I find it hard to believe you could have done anything really wrong. At the moment I did it, I regretted it. If I could have found the man, I'd have stopped him. But I don't even know where to reach him. Please, Father. How can I help you if I don't know what it is you've done? Your Excellency, I bet money on a horse. I see. And uh, just how much money did you bet? All I had, $500. I went to the bank and closed up my savings account. Well, that is something to be concerned about. Whatever possessed you, Father? You were never a gambling man, nor did you ever care much about money. I don't care about the savings. I just hoped that I'd make enough money to pay for the roof repairs we've needed for so long. I see. I shall never forgive myself for what I did. I shall never understand why I did it. The man I, I gave the money to, he seemed so sure of himself, so successful. Help me to understand what I've done. Help me. Help me, please, to explain it to myself. Yes. I find it hard to believe, Father. If I didn't know you better, if you were a young man, I might understand such rashness. But it's 40 years, 40 years since you took your vows. And to do such a, such a, such a foolhardy thing. I know, I know. Please, tell me, what must I do? You say you don't know how to find this man to whom you gave the money. No. So there's no way of preventing this bet from being made? Uh, no, there isn't. You see, the race is this afternoon. Then there's only one thing to be done. Only one way to make restitution. And that is? You must pray, Father. You must pray as you have never prayed before. And I'll add my prayers to yours. You must pray for that horse not to win. Not to win? Yes. You can't expect a reward for your error, no matter what the consequences. I can see no other expiation except to ask the Lord to withhold this victory. You must pray for this with all your might. But the money, Your Excellency, we're in such need now. The money does not matter. You're right, of course. I'll do as you say, Your Excellency. We must pray that the horse won't win. Soul of Christ, be my sanctification. Body of Christ, be my salvation. Grant me, O Lord, this which I ask in sorrow and repentance. Amen.
Father Eamon. Yes, Morton? Look, he's back. It's all right, my son. I understand. You understand what? About the race this afternoon. You've just returned. Yeah, I just got back a little while ago. And uh, this uh, horse, this uh, Sally's pal, it, it didn't win. No, oh, the dog. Well, now, I don't want you to blame yourself. You were trying to do good in your own fashion. Uh, whatever blame there is must fall on my shoulders. I just don't understand it, though, Father. You know, he was a sure thing if I ever saw one. At the head of the stretch, he's leading by four lengths. Then all of a sudden, he quits on me. I just don't understand it. Sure thing like that, and he quits. Trouble is, I had my last nickel bet on him, right on the nose. So now I'm back just where I started from with two bucks in my pocket. I think maybe I ought to go back in the hardware business. What do you think, Father? I think it's a very good idea. Yeah. I think so, too. Well, anyway, here's your money. My money? Well, yeah. You don't think I was going to risk your dough on a win bet, did you? I took the 500 and I bet him to place, so he came in second and paid $8.40, so... There you are. It's uh, twenty-one hundred dollars you won. recognize a truly superior banana? Just look for this famous portrait. Chiquita bananas. Quite possibly the world's perfect food. There are a lot of great places to take pictures. There are a lot of great times to take pictures. But there's only one place to take all your pictures. Walmart. It's always the perfect place. And any time is the perfect time. Because only Walmart combines Kodak Color Watch quality with the one low price you can always count on. Without a coupon, every day of every week. There's no better place to take pictures than Walmart. Always the low price. Always. The screaming starts this Monday as Nick at Night haunts your Halloween week with 140 straight episodes of Al Hitchcock Presents. So laugh while you can, monkey boy. <laughs> Attention all cat lovers, here it is, the cat and mouse watch, with a charming way to keep perfect time. It gives you seconds just as precisely, but more playfully than other watches. And it's lavished with quality features to combine a unique style with amazing accuracy. In fact, we guarantee the accuracy of your heirloom watch with a no-nonsense 25-year refund policy. You'll thrill to loving details like the sable gray leatherette strap and the gleaming gold tone case and superb imported quartz movement. Now, on this special TV offer, you get a genuine cat and mouse watch, complete with its own personal and numbered certificate of authenticity. All for the unbelievable price of just $19.99. So don't lose time. Have your credit card ready and call now for rush delivery.
Must you order? Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-626-1300 or send check or money order for $19.99 plus $4 shipping and handling to Cat and Mouse Watch, 8000 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Nick at Night's usual TV land happy endings will not be seen this week. Instead, we bring you endings of a different sort. Yes, it's Alfred Hitchcock Presents, dear viewer. 140 straight episodes coming to haunt your Halloween week with endings that go twist in the night, all night, every night. You want a happy ending? Just guess the total number of dead bodies and you could be one of 13 grand prize winners. For details, watch Nick at Night's dead giveaway all this week. The sponsor is being unusually difficult about this matter of the horse costume. I've explained the labor-saving advantages of employing a real horse to do the work of two men, but he is so enchanted with this pun of his on the word horse player that he insists on having it out with me. I shall be back shortly. It will only take a minute to put him in his place. Why are no yolks noodles lighter and fluffier than regular egg noodles? We take out the yolks and cholesterol and then add extra egg whites. But how do we get those uh, special eggs? No yolks. We don't have what you don't want. The shape of bugles? A dazzling sight. But the taste of bugles? Lip smacking delight. Bugles. It's the taste that's a blast. This portion of Naked Night's Dead Giveaway is brought to you by Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. Designing your home. Decorating tips from Liquid Plumber Drain Opener and Better Homes and Gardens. A bathroom can be a haven for relaxation. You'll see next. Professional Plumbers on Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. you got to have something that will go right to the problem real fast. It'll work on the clog and get it open. I used it myself Saturday night. <laughs> the best liquid drain opener is in the gray bottle. Professional Strength Liquid Plumber. Pamper yourself with some quiet time in the tub. It can provide you with a moment of self-indulgence. Consider the benefits of a whirlpool bath or a shower massage to ease aching muscles at the end of the day. Treat yourself to a magazine and a pillow. Gracie Allen on Family Introductions. I'm sure he won't know you because Aunt Clara always said that nobody recognizes you sober and George doesn't drink. Gracie Allen on Mr. Cooking. Sully, it says to separate two eggs but doesn't tell you how far apart to separate them. Now you can own Gracie Allen and George Burns on video cassette with three side-splitting episodes of the Burns and Allen Show. Yours for just $4.95. First, Gracie gets George in trouble with a dangerous criminal. We've been married for 25 years. You're not going to shoot me. Why should I? If you want to get out of it, shoot yourself. Next, Gracie hires a gigolo for a night on the town. Finally, Gracie surprises George with a portrait for his birthday. And it certainly will be because it doesn't look anything like him. So call today for the non-stop laughs of the Burns and Allen Show. Three big episodes, yours for just $4.95. Call now. And now, a word from another sponsor. But in just 30 seconds, watch tonight's Hitchcock tale, uninterrupted, only on Nick at Night. Enjoying the Nick at Night broadcast reimagined? Want to see more? Well, consider visiting our Patreon. That's right, our Patreon. A community of classic TV connoisseurs like yourself. Visit patreon.com slash Nick at Night to learn more.
When in Hooterville, stop by Honest Haney's Antiques. You're the first person that's sat in that chair since Whistler's mother. Green Acres, every night on Nick at Night. Nick at Night's dead giveaway continues. I think I'll call up some friends and watch it over here. The best of Saturday Night Live returns next week at its regular time. Something must be done about this. On this roof alone, there are three reindeer and a stork caught in the antennae. We certainly can't have that. It interferes with reception. The picture becomes quite grotesque. Allow me to illustrate. You see what I mean? It's rather like home movies made by Picasso or someone. But enough of this. You tuned in to see a story, and I'm certain you don't want to spend the time looking at a negative. But first, one minute from a man who is a positive thinker. How does your genie screwdriver door opener work? You got this big screw, see? And it's real long, and the thing just turns like that, so the door slides real quiet. Any mom with a lot of kids could use a genie. Genie screwdriver, built for a lifetime. Nick at Night presents the lost lyrics to the Make Room for Daddy theme song. Oh, Danny boy, you spritz, you howl, you bellow. Full of hot air, a schnoz big as a spruce. Your life is filled with peace and joy and laughter. And with a goat brought by Uncle Tanoose. Sing along with Make Room for Daddy every night on Nick at Night. Today, you solved all the world's problems. You took care of everything and everyone but you. Now end the day caressed from head to toe in the lightweight warmth of natural down. Curl up under a down comforter created by the company store. Since 1911, the company store has made its own all-natural products in America's heartland. Discover for yourself the very affordable pleasure of sleeping beneath a down comforter directly from the company store. Choose from America's largest selection of beautifully sewn down comforters in our free catalog, all backed by the company store never shiver guarantee of your complete satisfaction. Experience the sleeping delights that only down can bring. Here's all you do. To get your free catalog from the company store, call 1-800-524-4800. Your catalog will be rushed directly to you from the company store. Call now, 1-800-524-4800. Your favorite shows, your favorite stars, watch Nick at Night, that's where they are, Nick at Night. Some Nick at Night viewers may feel that Fernwood tonight is, in a word, unusual. I think the uh, best description would have to be really two words, incredibly sick. To those viewers who have been shocked at the frank discussions of artificial nostrils, corporal punishment, and how leisure suits cause cancer, we deeply apologize. But to those who would deny your right to watch... By those lousy, no-good, rotten, stinking, commie, pinko pigs... Fernwood tonight, every night on Nick at Night. They were three brothers learning the ways of a ninja. But what started as a game suddenly turned real. Those kids. What you want? Be the high. You kick their butt. Now three heroic kids are taking on one ruthless criminal. And they're determined to have the last laugh. Enjoy the ride. Three ninjas. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Will you be a dead giveaway contest winner? If the suspense is killing you, tune in for the correct body count next week during Hitchcock at 11.10 Central here on Nick at Night. Ten seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
three minutes, Mr. Burden. Just how she likes it. Uh, thank you, Chester. Oh, and, uh, and be sure that there's a clean napkin on the tray. Mrs. Burden said the last one was soiled. Yes, sir. And how is Mrs. Burden feeling this morning? <sighs> About the same as usual. Oh, yeah. I'd better go up to her. You certainly took your time. How long does it take to cook an egg, for heaven's sake? I'm sorry, dear. I just hope this woman you hired looks after me better than you do, Arnold. Please, give me my tray. What time does she arrive, anyway? Well, her uh, train gets in at nine. Perhaps I'd better send Chester down to the station now. You seem very anxious. I just don't want Miss Greco to feel lost, that's all. All right. Tell Chester to get started. I suppose she'll be some frittery blonde with ten thumbs and a bad permanent. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. The nurse's registry recommended her highly, and you saw her references. Now, you need a woman to look after you, Elizabeth. You said so yourself. Oh, Arnold, stop yammering and go. Arnold! As soon as Miss Greco arrives, send her up here. I want to look at this creature. Miss Greco is here, sir. Now, how do you do, Miss Greco? I'm Arnold Burton. Oh, will you take Miss Greco's luggage up to her room, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, <laughs> won't, you, uh, won't you sit down? Miss Greco, you must be tired after your long trip. A little. I hope you're going to be happy with this, Miss Greco. My wife needs a woman to look after. I've been doing everything I can, of course, but, uh, well, as she herself suggested, uh, a practical nurse would be so much more... Uh, <laughs> practical. <laughs> You, uh, you know about her ailment? Yes, I do. Well, it's, uh, it's nothing dangerous, but it is rather unpleasant for her. Uh, she's uh, in bed most of the time. She just hobbles about a bit. She's practically never out of her room, except for her walks in the garden. Yeah, she's, she's very fond of her little walks. <laughs> I see. Would, uh, would you care for a cigarette? No, thank you. Yes, it isn't, uh... It isn't nursing she needs as much as companionship. You, you know how women are. Yes. Well, I, I certainly hope you're going to be happy with this, Miss Greco. Oh, well, that's, that's her bell. I expect she wants to see you now. It's, uh, it's right this way. Well, here's Miss Greco, Elizabeth. How do you do, Mrs. Burden? How do you do, Miss Greco? I've uh, just been telling Miss Greco how we've been looking forward to her arrival. Yes. Well, I expect you want to change. Your room is down the corridor, two doors from mine. If you'll excuse me. Of course. Well, where did you get her? From the Folie Bergère? Oh, really, Elizabeth? Oh, she didn't fool me for a minute. She's a chorus girl, if ever I saw one. I suppose you think you're being very clever, don't you? Nothing of the sort. You chose her yourself, remember? From the references sent by the nurse's registry. Never saw the woman before. But you admit that she's pretty. <laughs> she's attractive, yes, but not pretty, no. <laughs> very well, then. She may stay. It should be interesting watching you two. But make no mistake about it, Arnold. I'll be watching. Oh, really, Elizabeth, you're talking nonsense. I know you, Arnold. I know you inside out. I can hear your romantic little heart beating. I know the kind of man you are. You're the kind of man that's always depending on women. For one thing or another. Do we have to talk about this now? First, it was your mother. You've never even met my mother. Your sister told me. Your mother did everything for you. And it was me. 
There's always been a woman to help you. Now, Arnold, isn't that true? You're not being fair, Elizabeth. Go ahead. Tell your Miss Greco she's hired. In faith, I do not love thee with mine eyes, for they in thee a thousand errors note. But tis my heart that loves what they despise, who in despite of you is pleased to dote. Arnold, if you must read poetry, can't you find something better than that? Elizabeth, this is Shakespeare. A lot of romantic glop, if you ask me. Why can't you read me a good novel? Well, I thought you might like a little poetry for a change. I might, but you read it so badly. <laughs> Very well, Miss Greco, you try. Nor are mine ears with thy tongue's tune delighted. Nor tender feeling to base touch is prone. Nor taste, nor smell desire to be invited to an essential feast with thee alone. But my five wits, nor my five senses can dissuade one foolish heart from serving thee. <laughs> foolish is right. Don't you think so, Arnold? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Not listening? Oh, what a pity. Miss Greco reads so beautifully. Shall I go on? Please do. Arnold appreciates that kind of thing, don't you, Arnold? Don't you? Very much. I'm cold. I want to go in. Of course, Mrs. Burton. What you're doing, for heaven's sake! I'm sorry. Here, let me do it. Well, come on. Come on. Yes, Lizzie. Anyone here? It's quite all right. Look, please come in. I've been having trouble sleeping. <laughs> I often do. That's why I come down here. I have a glass of hot milk. It's the only thing, really. Oh, say, uh, can I fix you one? Please don't trouble. No, 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 no. It's no trouble at all. Here, you just uh, sit right down here at the table. Yeah. It's high time that somebody waited on you, Miss Greco. Thank you. All right. Well, Elizabeth has certainly kept you hopping these uh, past two months. I haven't minded. No. No, of course you haven't. You've been wonderfully patient with her. She isn't that much trouble. Uh, you can be honest with me. I've been her nurse for the past year. Here, would you uh, like a little brandy in this? No, thank you. It must be terrible for you seeing her like this. Especially if you, if you love her a great deal. Yes, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? What does it happen to? My milk is getting cold. I'm sorry. I love you, Arnold. I love you, too. But it's hopeless, isn't it? Depends on what you mean by hopeless. I mean marriage, of course. Oh. 
That is what you meant, isn't it? It would be ordinarily, but as you know, I'm a very married man. There are divorce courts. Yeah. There are also poor houses. I don't have any money of my own, you know. I'm not used to having no money. That's all there is to it, then. We can't admit that. What else can there be? I won't be a backstreet wife. <sighs> That's a dreadful novelettish phrase. I prefer lover. And I prefer wife. must be something we can do. This isn't fair to any of us. As for Elizabeth, she'll never get any better. She's got more miserable every day. You, um, you know that medicine that you give her every night? You mean the nine o'clock sedative? first prescribed it for her, he warned me that it was a very strong sedative. She's so uncomfortable at night. It helps her a lot. Yeah. You uh, know about the proper dosage and all that, don't you? Yes. I know the drug could be dangerous. That an overdose could affect the brain. Possibly cause hemorrhaging. Yes, naturally... Uh, you wouldn't make any mistake about overdosing. Of course not. No. It'd be foolish. Very foolish. So easily detectable. Yes, however, isn't it true that it wouldn't be detected if it were administered a, a little bit at a time? That is, uh, three extra drops every night have the same effect as an overdose. Only not immediately. Yes, I believe that's true. She'd become weaker every day. It's bound to be a symptom. Yes, but not necessarily ascribable to the drug. And the, uh, the amount in the bottle uh, would hardly be noticeable, don't you think? I suppose so. How, um, how long do you think it'd take before? I really can't say. Uh, just, just as a guess. I would say about two months. I'm Tim Paulson, Vice President of the Hair Club for Men, and of course, I'm also a client. Like these men, I called Hair Club's toll-free number requesting their informative booklet about thinning hair, probably the best call I ever made. Inside was everything you need to know about hair replacement, including this complete objective bibliography. You'll learn about toupees, weaves, transplants, the misconceptions of minoxidil, as well as Hair Club's non-surgical strand-by-strand method which adds ideally matched top quality human hair to your own hair. In no time, you have a natural looking head of hair that lets you lead a worry-free active lifestyle. No chemicals, no surgery, yet it feels like a part of you. And the price is based on your degree of hair loss. Remember, if you want more facts, free and without obligation, you can call this toll-free number for your booklet. No salesman will call you. Consultations are free. And remember, I personally guarantee your satisfaction. I'm Cy Sperling, and I'm not only the Heckler president, but I'm also a client. Oh, hum. I'm tired.
Only on Nick at Night. I just met this girl named Buffy. I'm Pike. Pike isn't a name, it's a fish. I liked her, even though she seemed kind of flaky. But as it turns out. You have been chosen, Buffy. To do what? To stop the vampires. Does Elvis talk to you? And things started getting weird around here. Are we having a nightmare? You threw a knife at my head. And you caught it. She was the one person I could really count on. Kill him a lot. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm saving your butt. That is a bad guy. Can we go, please? The Slayer is unmasked. Let's finish it. I think this relationship has potential. Hi. How's it going? You're obviously having a bad hair day. If she can just get rid of those other guys in her life. Stab him in the heart! Christy Swanson. I am so sure. Donald Sutherland. Ah! Ah! Paul Rubens. Ah! With Rutger Hauer and Luke Perry. Buffy, you're not like other girls. Oh! Yes, I am. Buffy, the vampire slayer. You didn't even break a nail. Directed by Fran Rubel Kazooie. Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway with host Link Martindale. Boy, a lot of people sure have died tonight on Al Hitchcock Presents, haven't they? Some horribly, but they haven't died in vain because they can turn you into a winner. How? Just guess the total number of people who, who, well, croak in our 140-episode marathon. You can try to watch every show or just take a shot in the dark. Once you've made your guess, call us at 1-800-235-DEAD. There's the number on your screen. Leave your name, address, phone number, and your guess. All correct guesses enter a random drawing to get 13 grand prize winners. Tell them about it, Johnny. Each winner and a guest will be flown to L.A. and join TV Land stars for a fabulous murder mystery dinner cruise. The phones will be open until the event ends on Monday, November 4th at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come on, take a stab at it. There's no hitch, only Hitchcock. All week long on Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. feeling this morning. Arnold, your cheerfulness is depressing. <laughs> Sorry, dear. What are you dressed up for? Huh? Well, I, um, I thought I might play a little tennis. No, you can't. Why not? I want you to read to me this morning. Well, can't Miss Greco do that? I'm sick of the sound of Miss Greco's voice, and frankly, Arnold, I'm sick of everything about Miss Greco. <laughs> really, Elizabeth, you know how helpful she's been. Has she? Then why do I feel so much worse? Well, you really can't blame her for that. Did I tell you that Dr. Ivy wants me to enter the hospital for observation? Well, if he really thinks it's necessary, Elizabeth. He says this loss of appetite is serious. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing too serious. How can you be so sure? Well, I suppose the doctor should know what he's talking about. But you know how you hate hospitals. Besides, what would I do without you? I wonder. <laughs> yeah, well, you wait a few days, and if you don't feel any better, you go to the hospital. But let's, uh, let's not talk about it anymore. I've got to run. I'll be late for my game. Arnold. Yes, dear? I've already told Dr. Ivy that I'll enter the hospital the middle of next week. Well, you we really think that's best, Elizabeth? You realize what this means, don't you? They give her a thorough examination. They're bound to detect the overdose in the system. Arnold, what shall we do? Perhaps if we stopped. No, no, it's too late for that. But, uh, there is another way, of course. You mean increase the dose? Just another couple of drops. Do you still love me, Arnold? Oh, what a pretty...
pretty picture. Go right on with it, Arnold. Don't let me interrupt you. You forgot to give me my sedative. And I couldn't find the bell. I had to walk down here all by myself. But I'm glad I did. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Please, Mrs. Burden, you mustn't think... Quiet, you. I've had enough of you. Understand that? Quite enough. Oh, you're, you're mistaken, Elizabeth. Uh, Miss Greco Miller has something in her eye. <laughs> I know she does. You. But she's one woman you won't lean on again, Arnold. I want her out of this house tomorrow. Mrs. Burden, please, listen. You're fired. And if Arnold was my employee instead of my husband, maybe I'd fire him too. But he's my husband. Understand? He's my husband. Now, you can help me back upstairs, Arnold. Tomorrow you'll call the nurse's registry and arrange for a substitute for Miss Greco. Only this time, I'll interview the candidates personally. Yes, Elizabeth. Tie yourself. I didn't want to miss the great farewell scene. Besides, I'm feeling so much better this morning. I called Dr. Ivy and told him to cancel the hospital appointment. I don't think I'm going to need it after all. That's fine, dear. My poor Arnold, you look so upset. Stop it, Elizabeth. There's always been a woman's help, hasn't there? Only now she's gone and you have to depend on me again. Poor little sick me. Arnold, did you do what I told you? Did you call the nurse's registry? Yeah. Yes, there'll be uh, three candidates here this afternoon for you to choose from, starting at 2 o'clock. Good. I, uh, I was thinking of going out to a movie, if you don't think you'll need me. Go ahead. See a good romantic movie full of passionate love scenes. Get it out of your system. Problems are solved. I've found the perfect woman. She's already started work. Oh, I'm glad that they all show up on time. The first two are impossible. Too young. But the third, ideal. She's in the kitchen. Why don't you go down and have a look at her? Well, you seem to find it amusing. Amusing? Why should I? Go on downstairs and look at her. Go on, Arnold. Does she want me, your missus? I was just making a pot of coffee. How do you like her? How do you like your new dream girl, Arnold? 
My uh, wife gets her sedative at exactly nine o'clock. You won't forget it, will you? No, of course not. You're sure that you understand about the dosage? Oh, yes, I understand. Just three more drops, then it calls from the bottle. That's right. It shouldn't take long to finish her off now. Oh, I... I certainly appreciate this, Mother. Now at Little Caesars, you can get Crazy Eights. Two medium pizzas loaded with eight toppings for only $8.88. Why, that's a virtual avalanche of toppings. There's pepperoni, ground beef, bacon, ham, green pepper, onions, Italian sausage, mushrooms. The Crazy Eight Special at Little Caesars. Eight toppings for only $8.88. Pizza, pizza. Shout goes to work before you wash. Getting out more stains better than spray and wash. So whether it's... Spaghetti! Mud pies! Football! Shout it out! Did you ever wonder... How come that a man who can imitate a sprinkler as well as you can isn't married? Find out on Green Acres, only on Nick at Night. Well, I do watch my figure. She's a beautiful girl. But fat-free cereal. Fat-free cereal? I'd rather eat regular cereal and just dance more. She's a beautiful dancer. Now this, crispy, simple, wonderful, probably loaded with fat. Kellogg's Corn Flakes have always been fat-free. Fat-free? Kellogg's Corn Flakes? You're not telling me the truth. Is he bothering you? Taste them again for the first time. How does Jerry Hubbard feel about being preempted for Nick at Night's dead giveaway? I am filled uh, with uh, fear and uh, terror and uh, anger. Stay tuned for more Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Well, that's the way the bustle bounces. Now we have some medicine of our own we must take, after which I shall reappear. Courage now. It may be bitter, but you'll feel better when it's over. When asked what they learned from Donna Reed, 55% said niceness, 15% said boxing, and 30% said they learned how to make pie. This report brought to you by Donna Reed. To unlock your body's potential, we proudly offer Soloflex. 24 old-fashioned iron pumping exercises, each correct in form and balance. All on the simple machine that fits in the corner of your home. For a free brochure, call any time. Nacho cheese! Oh. Introducing a zesty nacho cheese taste you'll go loco for. New Ritz Bits Nacho Cheese Sandwiches. Nick at Night's regularly scheduled programming will not be seen tonight so that we may bring you more Alfred Hitchcock Presents on Nick at Night's Dead Giveaway. By the by, Arnold Bourdon's attempt to achieve single blessedness was frustrated by his mother. At a crucial moment, the poor woman became completely addled due to an overdose of cooking sherry. Next week, we shall return... <laughs> this is amazing. I never saw a stalk at work before. I hope they have a layette ready. They'll find that isn't Santa coming down the chimney. Good night.
out of 10 barnyard animals agree, watch Nick at Night for good TV. Enjoying the Nick at Night broadcast reimagined? Want to see more? Well, consider visiting our Patreon. That's right, our Patreon. A community of classic TV connoisseurs like yourself. Visit patreon.com slash Nick at Night to learn more.